So what kind of motor is this? This is a EJ255. Hmm. Out of an 08 Impreza GT. Hmm. I guess you could say it's rare. Some people call these scubaroos and this one didn't scubaroo very well. Insert clip here. And Master Darren took the boost control lines off and found water in the boost controller lines. And we took this motor out. And in the back where the throttle body is, it was filled with water. It has since evaporated, but we even drained the oil. And there was more water than oil, so not. Not the most ideal situation. Much everything. These are kind of utilitarian, so they have everything kind of just stays on the intake, which is nice because then you can build this as a unit on the bench and put it right back on. So this customer is going to get a what? A used block. Actually, used block. we had a good used block laying around. He just needs something cheap, simple, get it running, doesn't matter, and we got a good short block from a car that we actually drove so we know it's good so that's going to help cut down on cost and we're just going to salvage the parts that are still usable slap it on the uh the short block yeah we're going to rebuild the head so the heads will get completely rebuilt new valves seals and valves all cleaned up and relapped and everything water should not be dripping there water shouldn't be dripping from anything Water should it be dripping from electrical outlets no. or plugs? No, it shouldn't be. Those strong muscles you have. Oh. That's normal. Mm. Oh! Bruh. Oh. Oh, it's so bad. It looks like peanut butter. No! I'm gonna drain it. Ready? We're gonna, hopefully the heads are savable. The fact that this port was full to the top of water is not a good sign. I'm 90% sure this has at least one bent rod because when we cranked it over, it just went eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Well, you know, uh, zombie survival kit over here. Mm -hmm. So if, if zombies come by, you just just this pick a it. weapon. This is it. This is our arsenal for zombies. Okay. Ten mil is acquired. Somebody put the wrong hardware in here. Somebody didn't lock tight it. Thanks. How dare How dare they? Hey, you're not supposed to take things apart with an impact. Yeah, the internet told me so. Why is there water leaking out of the valve cover? Oh boy. The, the head gaskets are probably still good. Reuse. Reusable. You know, we all live in a yellow submarine. We need more pigment. We're gonna serve some valve covers on a nice platter. Yeah, it looks like a T-bone steak. Yeah, it's like it's a Minecraft T-bone steak. Uh, steam clean. <laughs> Salt bath not trying. <laughs> they went from 220 degrees to ice cold water. Uh, ocean water not trying. Yes. You see that that wooden thing over there? We grab that one and put it so this is a cool feature I don't think I need to pro tip this but uh, you should use a torque wrench why is it why is this blue is that a sensor it's an aftermarket head bolt is it a oh. sensor <laughs> yeah, you never look at a super before. <laughs> It's whittle. If it doesn't have threads, it can't strip. <laughs> Did you do pull-ups today? Nah. Uh, I think so. Pull-up champion of the world. My feelings! I can hear so many people's feelings getting hurt. You can't put those there. You're not gonna ultrasound and clean them three times <laughs> before you put them back in. Those. That hose clamp is like roll tight. One Jay Z. Yeah. No, no, we'll just <laughs> one eye. This is this is our lingo for making sure we keep buckets in the yes. proper spot. Yes. <clears throat> cylinder, if it's intake or exhaust, and which one in line it is. So cylinder one, it's an intake one, first one in line. Intake, well it's cylinder number one, intake, second one in line. Cylinder number three, intake, first one in line. They're pretty beat up. You can see some of the, see the lines going outward? That is usually intuitive of metal, so. Not. It's a, it's an oil reservoir now. That's, yes. That's what we call if it. You're, if you're, your bucket has a, a low spot in the middle, then it can just hold oil right. That's what we're Perfect, is. yeah. These things, man. No, maybe they use like a pile of grease. Ah, oh, look at all the metal embedded in there. Oh, so that's sad. cool. Nice. That'll buff out. Yeah, that'll, that'll buff, buff out. out. You know. Hmm. I'm so excited to see all the bait rods. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. Wonder what the compression ratio is when uh, the cylinder only makes it half, or, or the piston only makes it halfway up the cylinder. Yeah. Like Good. two to one compression. <laughs> well, I will say that. So everybody says fluid does not compress, but water actually compresses four tenths of its original size. The cylinder wall being an operating temperature and then ingesting cold water. I'd make great things happen. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds. I'm just gonna walk them over here. The reveal. Are we ready? I walk it out. Oh, they used fail per. Oh. Ooh fun times. Oh. oh. Wait, didn't we just make a reel about sliding in DMs or something? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's, uh... it's fine. That case is still good. <laughs> look, somebody whiz wheeled the deck surface and just slapped fell. This fell pro, looks I guess. like. Oh, you're using the impact. 
We should reverse this video so it looks bad. It still has the threads, Brent. We need the half inch. <laughs> okay, gender reveal 2.0. Oh, this one's cleaner. Just a little bit of barnacles in there. Mm. Oh, there it is. Just need some extra compression. No bent rods there. Okay, give her a flip. Wow, there's like fudge there. <laughs> it looks like, yeah. Grandma made it fresh. This, you hear this thing cry when you turn it around? <laughs> Why? Oh, no bent rods. Why does it sound like such low compression then? Maybe it just pushed I'd, the heads off. Or maybe it was filled with water. Maybe the rings are all broken from, you know. Let's flip the heads over, see what those look like. Oh, the cylinder walls are so bad. Because when we cranked it over, it just